Okay, so huge news. Apparently, the game is wiping on Tuesday. I actually didn't even know that. Uh, I was recording a small segment regarding the rogue nerfs, which I'm going to play after this. Uh, it says here, this was taken from their website, early access wipe two and patch number one are scheduled for Tuesday, September 26th. Urgent emergency hotfix number 13. We are sorry to announce that the early access patch number one that was planned for this week will be delayed until Tuesday, September 26th, 2023. Instead, we will deploy an emergency hotfix 13. This is the one with the rogue and cleric changes to stop a serious gold duping bug. We will start a comprehensive investigation into suspicious accounts and accounts found to have exploited the bug will soon be banned. We will also have, we have also decided to include a few of the smaller, but more pressing class balance changes that were intended for patch number one with the emergency hotfix 13. Um, now I think that that's really good that they're instead of waiting until Tuesday to nerf uh, rogue and balance the cleric a bit more um, that they're rolling them out now. I think that's great. Um, it does take me by surprise that we're getting a wipe. Um, not too much by surprise, but the gold duping bug is, is the surprising part. Honestly, if you had told me that there is too much gold floating around in the market right now, I like that's surprising because I can't seem to get more than 50 for a blue item, right? Like, so I don't know where all this gold, gold is floating around, but it hasn't seemed to affect the overall market in any way, shape or form. So it surprises me that they're going to wipe it because of a gold duping bug, especially if they know who perpetrated it and they're going to be banning people. Um, it seems, uh, it just seems odd to me. Anyways, not a big deal. If there is a gold duping bug and that's the reason to wipe, I, I'm all for wipes anytime. So, uh, the more the better, in my opinion, wipes are always exciting. And when everyone has no gear, it's, it's good. Um, I'm going to go through the rest of this. Due to the side effects from the duping bug, we have decided to execute the next early access wipe much earlier than expected. We plan to wipe the game in tandem with the early access patch number one next Tuesday. Wipe number two will only wipe players' inventories, including all gold and items. So we're only getting a, an item and gold nerf, or we're only getting an item and gold removal, not a character removal. So we're going to keep all the levels on our characters, which is kind of, uh, it's, it doesn't really matter all that much. Honestly, leveling up from one to 20 doesn't take that long. Um, a lot of players are restarting characters just to do it and just have fun with it. So I don't think that the non-inclusion of level wipe is really a big deal here. Uh, they are removing all items in gold. Personally, I am very happy for this because I currently hate our meta right now, right? Rogues aside, the meta right now is get pre-nerf items, pre-nerf longbows, pre-nerf uh, pants and chest pieces with plus three all attributes, pendants, uh, and it's so, so strong to have an extra nine uh, base stats on all of your stats. It is unreal that, like, they've kept it in this long. I'm so glad that they're wiping, and I hope that in the next wipe, they find a way to not ever have pre-nerf items in, in the rotation after they nerf them, because it creates this situation where the majority of the player base receives the nerf. They're all using post nerf items, but the top players are not. They are ensuring, making sure that they have pre nerf items at all times. That's why whenever you run into them, you they're moving faster than you. They have way more health than you. And when you inspect them, they have plus three all attributes in two to three pieces of their gear. I think that that is horrible, horrible. And uh, I, at one point, I think I got one shot by a pre nerf longbow and it's infuriating to deal with. I am happy that they're nerfing and that they're removing the items in the gold, especially from this wipe. I will say that this wipe has been my least favorite uh, wipe that I've played so far. I've played in uh, almost every single play test and I've been playing nonstop since early access launched. I am going to enjoy that these items are leaving the pool. Please know that the update will introduce sweeping balance changes that will affect almost every class, weapon, and item in the game. Uh, that's very interesting. <laughs> I don't know what that entails. But it, yeah, I guess every single thing is getting a rebound. So we're going to have to see what that is closer to Tuesday. Uh, we apologize for the delay in the scheduled update and the sudden announcement for the next wipe. We will look forward to the to a new start with the next patch and appreciate all your support. Um, I'm glad they're doing all these balance changes. I'm glad that they're testing new things. All right. So after all that, moving on to the rogue changes. So it seems like it has finally happened. Iron Mace has decided to nerf the rogue class. We just got notes a few minutes ago that from SDF that they have decided to nerf rogues. Now, this is no shock. I think everyone expected it. Basically, rogues have been running rampant in almost every lobby, trios, duos, solos, absolutely annihilating people. The leaderboards are showing rogues being double or triple as effective in kills as almost any other class. 
So this is no surprise. Now, what they're doing here does seem to be pretty extreme in my opinion. I'm going to go over the changes. I'm going to give a little bit of my thoughts and opinions. Now, while I don't main Rogue, I do have some experience playing Rogue. Uh, so these nerfs are not going to greatly affect my gameplay, but I do have a very good understanding of what this does affect. So let's go through them all. There's also some cleric changes here. I'm going to go over the cleric changes after uh, we go over the rogue changes. So initially we have here rogues base agility decreased from 35 to 30. So they're removing five base stats off of agility. Now 35 was extremely high, but it does concern me here that they're removing agility, which is movement speed. It is attack speed from a class that is about to also have their damage completely gutted. So removing or, or kind of hurting the rogue's ability to evade others in this situation might seem a little unnecessary, but let's keep going. This is probably the least important change on the list. Um, we also have resourcefulness going up from 15 to 20, which is, in my opinion, I don't understand why they would do this, uh, seeing as how rogues already open doors and chests extremely quick. Uh, resourcefulness increase is just interesting. I honestly don't think these first two changes are going to greatly affect the class too much, um, but it's definitely you know, something that, uh, yeah, I don't know. We're just going to feel a little different, I guess. Uh, third change on the list here is the rogues ambush perk bonus decreasing from 50 to 30%. Now this is a 20% decrease on the ambush perk. Uh, the ambush perk is within the first three seconds. The first attack within three seconds after leaving stealth deals an additional 50% additional weapon damage. I think this is a really good change. Uh, 20% reduction seems like a pretty big, uh, hit to their perk, but honestly, they were one tapping people or two tapping. So 20% seems in line. Uh, I think this change was good. I don't see this one getting reverted in any way. Uh, I think it was just right on the money. Um, the high base duration decrease from 60 to 20 seconds. That one seems extreme to me. So the rogue is all about going into stealth and waiting to remove. That is kind of odd. Now we do have on the next line here, a hide mastery perk that increases their hide duration. So I'm assuming we don't have a duration here on the notes, but I'm assuming that we can bring the duration back up to 60 seconds with the perk. Now, I actually don't like either of these changes. I think Rogue already has kind of an issue with trying to choose utility perks over combat perks. For example, lock picking, very valuable to a team or an individual, but nearly impossible to take because you need to bring combat effectiveness, right? If you uh, if you're losing combat effectiveness, every engagement is going to be like, well, if I didn't bring lock picking, I would have been able to kill that guy, right? I think the same is going to apply here with this hide mastery perk. If you want to be able to hide for 60 seconds, that's pretty valuable to maybe a rat now. But for anyone that's trying to kill other players, you're not, it's going to be tough to, to really fit this into your build. Now, maybe everyone's going to because 40 seconds is a lot to lose on the hide. Waiting 20 seconds for a rogue to pop out of stealth is not very difficult, right? I think a lot of times rogues kind of prey on that fact of the person needs to move through me. The zone's closing. I'm waiting here. They might think I'm here, but they have to move, right? But 20 seconds a lot shorter. It might really hurt their ability to ambush people. Personally, I just don't see the reason for this change. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it plays out. But if I was a rogue main, I think I would be really annoyed that one of my perks now has to go to hide mastery if I want to play like a rogue should play. So personally, just not a fan of this perk change or the, this this ability and perk change. Uh, next one is a drastic, complete gutting of weak point. Now, this is pretty extreme. I feel like some of this is going to be reverted. Rogue's weak point attacks 50% damage bonus on the initial attack has been completely removed. So um, weak point has an initial attack bonus of 50%. That is now going to be entirely removed. Um, now that's a decision. I don't know if it was the right one. I feel like it should have gotten the treatment that ambush received of getting some sort of percentage removed, uh, to keep weak points identity, right? That's what weak point does. It does an initial burst added onto their attack. The other parts of weak point are armor reduction that has been changed from 40% to negative 25%. This is a large amount. I don't know if it, 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 it's not a large amount on its own, but seeing as how the initial damage was completely removed, the armor rating removal all just tacks onto it, right? Like th this feels like weak points going to be a useless ability. The, the duration is also getting dropped from five seconds to three seconds. So weak point is now only going to be a 25% reduction in armor for three seconds. 
I don't see the usefulness in any way, shape, or form to using weak point. I don't think there's any way any rogue will choose weak point after this change, and I'm not sure if that's the way to go. Um, I feel like this is a major overstepping. I feel like we've seen a couple nerfs that Iron Mace has done, say, for Wizard, um, for various different classes that were overdone and then taken back. I feel like what we're looking at right here with weak point is another one of those changes. They've completely gutted it. And I feel like they're going to have to walk some of it back or no one's ever going to choose this ability anymore and it's going to be useless. That's just my personal opinion. You know, I would love to hear uh, from other people, maybe people who play Rogue, who would weigh in on this. But uh, personally, I think this is too much of a nerf to an ability. The last line on the, on the list here is reduced the damage of all daggers. I'd love to know the details of what this means. Uh, this could mean anything. This could mean one damage off of the Chris dagger. It could be, mean five damage off every dagger. I don't know. But... One thing is for sure, in my opinion, all of these changes combined are insane. They're going to completely annihilate the, the way the, the rogue is currently being played. I think now that rogues are going to have to take things like rupture, we may even see rogues trying to use caltrops in some way, shape, or form. All in all, personal opinion, I think these changes were a little bit too much, but we'll have to wait and see. The, the patch does go live in, I believe, two hours. Could be up a little sooner than that. They've been getting these patches done pretty quick. I would love to hear other thoughts and opinions. I think the community is going to be in an absolute uproar over these changes because I think, uh, personal prediction, I think everyone's going to see this as an overreaction and nerf. But anyways, moving on to the cleric changes real quick because they're also fairly interesting. We are seeing some base stats of the cleric being completely uh, changed around here. We have strength increased by two, agility increased by one, resourcefulness increased by two, and will decreased by five. So... Overall, it seems like they're trying to put the cleric into more of a fighting strength rather than what we're currently seeing at the, the high end of the meta. The best clerics out there right now, the ones that are topping the kills, are going around with movement speed and very high spell damage. They are nuking people down with judgment, holy strike, and so maybe they're trying to curb that a little bit on the highest end with this five will drop because it is pretty oppressive. If you actually do run into someone who's running it properly, it's, it's kind of insane. I got run down by a, a cleric at one point. He was moving at I think it was like 310 movement speed with his book out and his judgment nearly one shot me. It was it was wild. So I guess they're trying to nerf that a little bit while also increasing the cleric's ability to deal some damage without spells. So we'll see how that, that plays out. Um, uh, At least they're getting a bit more of a faster interaction speed. Personally, I would love to see this increase by a little bit more. Trying to play a cleric is absolute pain when attempting to open doors or chests. Yeah, I would love to see what they're going to do with this going further if they're going to increase it by more. But anyways, guys, that's the whole patch. It's pretty short. I just wanted to give my thoughts and opinions on mostly the rogue nerfs. I am very curious to see what's going to happen on the Reddit, on the Discord, and in game. Uh, and uh, I'll be streaming live tonight, probably in a couple hours, actually. Uh, it's probably actually after this patch goes live, I'll, I'll probably hit, uh, go live. So um, if you want to check me out, I'm at twitch.tv slash Nazori. There should be a link in the description. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Give it a like if you if you appreciate this type of content. I don't normally do this type of content. So uh, yeah, just let me know what your thoughts are, guys. We'll see you around.